If you would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10 poor cent. Poor cent. What the hell am I saying, Brad? Huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com for making this review possible, guys. Go over there, pick up some huge fig pick up some figures and, and use code MDTOY to save 10%, or you'll look like this Jeff Hardy head sculpt. What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Day of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the review that you have been waiting on the WWE Elite Series 75 Seth Freakin' Rollins and Jeff Hardy 2-in-1 figure review. Now, I did not know that these were going to come today. I only received one Rollins, two Jeffs, and one Chase Variant Hurricane figure because this is the order I placed after Elite 75 came in stock. These are my extras, so I do not have the full set just yet, but I figure go ahead, throw up these two. I thought about doing Hurricane, but then I was like, you know what, maybe we'll do his own review given that the other figures don't arrive tomorrow or something. I don't know what the hell's up, but I guess we'll have to see about that. You know, we'll see if those figures come in. But today we are going to go ahead and upload this review because we got Royal Rumble predictions. We probably got an action figure match or some bullshit going on. I don't know what the hell to do. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins Elite 75 review. Very excited for both of these figures. That is why I ordered multiples of them. So let's go ahead and get into the review, guys. You do have the front viewing window here of both figures. Spinning them both to the right, you do have an image of Rollins and Jeff right here. On the back, we do get some info. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. We also have the rest of the figures in the wave. Excellent wave. I think this is an excellent freaking series of Elite Series 75. We got some images on the side. I saw some people making some jokes about Rollins right here. Like, look at his face right there. I don't know, it looks kind of stoop. But we also have Jeff right there. And then on the front, we are back to the front viewing window right there. But that pretty much does it for their packaging, guys. So let's go ahead and crack these hoes out of their packaging. So here is Seth Rollins and Jeff Hardy out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty swell, I might say. There are some minor gripes about the figures themselves, which we will get into. We're going to break all of that down. But I am very happy to put both of these figures in our collections here. The Jeff Hardy shelf and the Seth Rollins shelf are already just overflowing with elites, and adding these up there is going to be great. I cannot wait to do so. So that's going to be excellent. But you know how these reviews work, guys. We're going to individually review them, you know, compare them to other figures, review their accessories, and all of the stuff in between. So let's go ahead and break it down guys we'll start off with Seth Rollins accessories and then Seth Rollins and then we will break down Jeff Hardy's accessories and Jeff Hardy himself so let's go ahead and get on to the Kingslayer so getting into Rollins accessories guys I mean this is such an epic review because Seth Rollins and Jeff Hardy are two of my favorite talents Jeff Hardy being one of my favorites of all time and Seth Rollins being one of my currents this is an excellent review I can't wait to get started but let's go ahead and get into the Chicago Bears inspired <laughs> Chicago Bears inspired attire that Seth Rollins wore at the 2019 Royal Rumble. We're coming up on the one year mark of that, so that's kind of ridiculous that it takes about a year until we got the figure in hand. But you guys will see by my vest that the freaking SR is not even centered. You can see that it's off to the right a little bit, which isn't the biggest deal. I actually have an idea that I'm going to do. I, th I think I'm going to acetone off the SR and then redo it and uh, probably make it a little bit more accurate and add some details because if you guys will see, we'll go ahead and try to compare the vest on screen for you guys to compare it to the real thing. You guys can kind of see that they did leave out some details. You know, there's a little bit scaling issues probably. And obviously my SR is a little bit off center. But I do like the color of it. I think it looks great. On the back, this graphic looks really cool. The Rollins on the back with the SR logo in the orange outline. Kind of similar, obviously similar to his knee pad on the attire. But I like the vest overall. I like that they gave us a new vest and it's not just the one with the paneling already in it. They actually gave us a brand new vest mold or they reused one that doesn't have the paneling, which is okay with me. And it actually covers... His his entire torso, so I am appreciative of that. So that's pretty wicked. You do get the Seth Rollins vest, even though mine's freaking off center. That's all right. But you do get interchangeable hands as well. You have the entrance hands that Seth Rollins uses right here. Um, you can do this for when he punches at the end of the burn it down, or you know what I'm saying, where he goes. Bruh, bruh. So you can do that part. You can do where he gets up on the turnbuckle and you guys know he spreads out his hands like this, like the Monday Night Messiah. And you have mic holding hands, which are always the best, or weapon holding hands, whatever you want to call it. And then out of the packaging, he obviously comes with fists, which go along with that brat brat thing where, you know, he opens the palm and then he punches forward. That also works for that. So that's pretty wicked, nasty farticles. But that pretty much does it for Rollins accessories, guys. So now that we have covered that, let's get into Seth Rollins himself. So diving into Rollins himself, guys, you will see here 
here we do have the basic 102 head sculpt and I think it does look like Rollins. Uh, I think it does definitely look like Rollins. I don't know if I like it better than the Top Talents version which we will compare in the next segment of the video but I also have this little black speck right there under the mustache right there. That little black speckle you piece of shit. You're not supposed to be there. You can see there it's not supposed to be there. I can fix that no problem so I don't really have a big issue with that. I mean it sucks that I have to fix it but uh, it doesn't bother me that bad because I, I can easily fix it you know. But I like the hair piece. I like this head sculpt a lot. I actually think I like this head sculpt better than the smiley one because he's not smiling. You know, he's got a straight face. You can take him seriously. Going down, we do have the ripped up torso that's beautiful. Also, the chest hairs on there, which we really appreciate. You also have his tattoo on here. Great ab crunch. It's a very tight ab crunch, so I can really appreciate that, especially with posing. We have the regular Seth Rollins arms that they always use. He did have the black gauntlets on or wrist gauntlets, whatever you want to call them, at the event, so uh, you know that's accurate right there. Interchangeable hands. Going down into the trunks or the pants or the tights, whatever you want to call it. I think this is pretty accurate. I feel like the blue may be a little bit too saturated possibly, but I don't think it's a huge deal. I think it does look like the Chicago Bears attire. I have a custom that we're going to compare it to in the next segment of the video. So spinning it around, you got all this deco going on. I think it's pretty clean deco. I don't see anything that, you know, is too terrible. I don't see really any chipping. I like the knee pads. I really love the cleanliness of this SR logo. I can really appreciate that. Got the open knee pads, so those are accurate. You also have the orange on the back and then into the kick pads this is where my biggest issue is you can see the white bleeding right there but my biggest issue with this is I hate that it it does this you guys know that they always give us the same Seth Rollins like kick pad mold where it's not the AJ Styles where it's one solid piece and it swivels at the top of the leg they give us this little lip still with the Seth Rollins figures and I really don't know why that is um, it's not a big deal when you have figures that have you know the same color kick pad here and here but when you have these graphics like these lines and stuff like that it hurts the continuation when you cover or you cover I don't know what the hell I'm talking about but when you articulate the ankle you get that where the lines don't line up so if they would have uh, made this navy all of this navy and then started these lines down here uh, it probably would be a little bit more off or maybe they'd have to shorten those up but you don't get that little continuation issue it's not a huge deal but it is something that you want to mention but uh, I think the white came out pretty clean I've seen where people are having issues with their white on their kick pads mine look really clean so I'm happy about that that. Um, but that's pretty much it for Seth Rollins, man. I like it a lot. I think it's a great figure, and I'm happy to add this Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins to the collection. Uh, I think we are getting another Rollins in Elite 78, so uh, that who knows what attire that's going to be, but we know that we finally got our Elite 75 that we saw the renders of at Comic-Con. So getting into some Elite Seth Rollins comparisons, guys, you will see here that we have the Elite 75 in the middle. We have my custom Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins here. We have my fix-up 2018 Top Talents Elite Rollins. We have the Elite 64 Rollins, and we have our new uh, fix-up heel 2020 January Seth Rollins. So it's kind of cool. You have uh, January 2019 Seth Rollins here, and then you have January 2020, 2020 Seth Rollins right here. Both making the same face, but the attire is different. You got the glove, the leather jacket, and all that. So baby face, heel, you see what a year can do. But here we have the comparison to the custom and you guys will see they're pretty much the same. I feel like my belt may be a little bit more accurate possibly. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. But down here you can see what I did with the kick pads. You see here I put it lower. That way when you articulate the ankle or the, the leg there you don't get that uh, that cut off down there. And you can kind of see it kind of makes them a little bit short but I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Another thing they left off of the figure and I also left it off of my custom. Uh, they forgot these like little lines he had right here I know he had like little blue metallic lines going through right here and on the back like on the inner thighs and they were also supposed to be on the vest so that's just something to take note of but uh, yeah that does it for your Seth Rollins elite figure comparisons also my legs are warped a little bit but I got uh, that's easy fix easy fixies so getting into Jeff Hardy's accessories, guys, not a lot comes with either of these figures. You know, we really didn't get a ton of accessories with both these guys, but you do get the workout shirt or the cutoff shirt, you want to say, or the muscle shirt, I should say, right here. You got the JH logo right there. Throwback Jeff Hardy t-shirt, very nice. Nothing on the back of the shirt there. And, I mean, yeah, it's just regular JH right there. It looks pretty cool. You could probably do a cool fix-up with the, uh, the Elite 57 if you wanted to. You could throw this on one of them, head swap it, give them like a weird, you know, hybrid of, of both areas 
air is right there if you wanted to do that. Um, we also have interchangeable hands, and unfortunately, they have not fixed his problem where he comes with fists. We really want mic holding hands with our Jeff Hardys. If anybody at Mattel's is working on this or watching this video, we'd really appreciate it if we could get some mic holding hands for our figures. Uh, you know, this is great. I love the signature hands, but uh, I know a lot of guys like Grand Metalik, Seth Rollins, other guys that get three pairs of interchangeable hands. So why couldn't we get fists, mic holding hands, and the signature Jeff Hardy hands? That's just a question. I'm not, you know, I, I just want to know. Also, I just noticed they made this peg black, but I guess they made this peg black because they made this peg black, and I think I'd rather this this peg over here be black, um, and this one be black, than both of them being skin tone, and then you have the skin tone there. So I, I, could, I can appreciate that, because that would look odd over here. So I, I appreciate that they did that, but that is pretty much it for Jeff Hardy's except... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot about the towel here. You also get the towel that we saw with the Elite 71 Jeff Hardy, which he has a butthole. He has a second butthole right here. You just plug it into the butt cheek right 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 there and then it stays pretty good you know it will fall out but uh it's a it's a nice addition i like that they're including the towels pretty wicked stuff but that pretty much does it for jeff hardy's accessories guys so now that we've covered that let's get into jeff hardy himself so taking a closer look at jeff hardy himself guys we're gonna get in on this head sculpt first because i don't know about you guys but it does not look like jeff hardy to me i don't know what it is i don't know who that is but i don't i, I just don't see jeff hardy that much I, I really couldn't tell you what it is. It's just like the eyes or the no shape or or something is off about it. I'm, I, again, I can't point it out. If somebody can let me know down in the comment section below what you think. I feel like from different angles it looks like Hardy. Like from kind of far away it looks like Jeff Hardy. But when you get up in here and you compare the pictures, it just really isn't looking like Jeff Hardy to me. And I don't know what it is about it. And I really like this figure and it makes me want to like this figure more. But I just, uh, I don't know. The head sculpt is a big miss for me. Um, at least me personally. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But getting into the rest of the figure, I love what we got going on. I love the face paint on it. I love that they included the necklace. We finally have a Jeff Hardy necklace. I'll probably end up getting a bunch of these. I actually have two of them and maybe a third one on the way. Um, I'm very happy we're getting this necklace. I can't wait to paint that up, put it on other fix-ups and figures like that. So that would be really awesome. I love that we have the arm paint coming down. I love the purple hair, the half face paint. Just really screams 2002 era Jeff Hardy. So it's really cool to see all this come to fruition in Mattel. On the back of the packaging, I know that the, the shirt is black, but around this era, he wore uh, the white shirts or the white, white beading shirt or whatever you want to call it, the, the cutoff sleeves. And so the white tank top was very, you know, reminiscent of Jeff Hardy around this time. I like the arm paint going down. You know, it's a bit blocky and kind of, you know, saturated, but, you know, that, that works for me. They got to mass produce these figures, so getting the details in there is kind of difficult and kind of making it look painted on or whatever. Uh, over here, I like this sleeve, the black with the blue and the kind of like whitish paint pink color or gray purple color you got going on looks great uh, I do have a little bit of bleeding right here on my belt in the blue color, which that's not a big deal. He also has red nail polish from that specific photo shoot or studio shots they used to make this figure. You have his regular black pants that we've seen multiple times, white and black kick pad feet, and then you have the butthole there for the towel. But overall, I really like the figure. Again, I, I like everything about it and everything like that. You know, uh, very good ab crunch as well. He's got good articulation. You know, the legs move and everything like that, or at least mine do. Um, um, he's got everything going on. So, I mean, it's a good Jeff Hardy figure. I just wish the head sculpt looked a little bit more like Jeff. But now that we have covered that, guys, let's take a look at some Jeff Hardy Elite Figure comparisons. So taking a look at some Jeff Hardy Elite figure comparisons, guys, you can see the Elite 75 in the middle, the Elite 71 to your left, the Elite 67 over here. We have the Ringside Exclusive, the WWE Shop Exclusive, and the Walmart Exclusive. Walmart Exclusive, my ass. It never even showed up at Walmart. Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy all up next to it. Really cool that we can kind of see like the beginning of his career to the middle, to the later half, to the latest part. It's pretty cool to see how many Jeff Hardy figures that we've gotten from Mattel since him and his brother Matt Reese. We got a ton of Matt Hardys as well. Just really excellent stuff. And I really like this Jeff Hardy again. I love that we got the white tank top mold. I just freak out. I, I don't know what it is about the head sculpt, man. I, I don't know. Maybe I can customize a different head sculpt and fix it and give it the same paint job, put it on this head. I don't know what we're going to do, but overall, I really do enjoy the figure. But that pretty much does it for your Jeff Hardy Elite Figure Comparisons. 
Overall, again, guys, I do really do enjoy both of these. I would highly recommend both of them. You know, we get the 2002 era Jeff Hardy. While the head sculpt's not the best, you know, I think that it is, you know, I think, it, I guess it's good enough for what you get from the neck down. You know, I think, I, I really do. I think you can do a lot of cool fix-ups, which we're going to find out on action figure surgery. Um, again, I don't own the rest of the wave just yet. I have Hurricane. If you guys would like a Hurricane review by itself, please let me know down in the comment section below. But I don't have Pete Dunn. I don't have Mandy Rose. And so I cannot finish the rest of the wave. So uh, what else am I missing? Anna, it's missing somebody else. Who else? Uh, Kalisto. I don't have Kalisto just yet either. So I guess we'll have to wait on the rest of the reviews unless you guys want Hurricane by itself. But if you would like to pick up either of these figures, guys, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. They got some great deals going on over there. I think they even have a Royal Rumble sale still going on, so definitely go get in on that. But that is going to do it for this two-in-one review. Would recommend both figures. Definitely want to add these to the collection. If you missed out on Basic 102 Rollins, this is a great way to update your head sculpt. You know, we don't want the smiley one right now because he's a heel, so you definitely want to update that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Stay tuned for more of the Elite 75 reviews. Hopefully the rest of the wave comes in tomorrow. We'll have to see. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.